In this easy ed video lecture, we will learn what is kinematics of particles and particles performing different kinds of motions, one of which is rectilinear motion. So what is kinematics of particles? Here, the man is analyzing the speed of the car. So, it is the analysis of moving particles without considering forces responsible for the motion. In this example, we have not considered frictional force which is responsible for the car's motion. Before learning about different kind of motions, let us understand basic terminologies like position, displacement, distance, velocity and acceleration. Consider a car is moving and halts at different points. This determines the position of the car. Displacement is a change in position of a particle. If a car starts its journey from point 3, moves to point 4, and then moves to point 1, then the total displacement of particle is from point 3 to point 1. It has no relation with the actual distance travelled. Whereas, for the distance, it is the total distance travelled by the car. Velocity is how fast a car can move, and acceleration is the change in velocity with respect to time. Rectilinear motion is the motion of a particle in a straight line. Consider a car is traveling on a straight highway. This shows that the car is performing a rectilinear motion as it is traveling in a straight line. Rectilinear motion is further divided into three motions. Motion with uniform velocity, motion with uniform acceleration and motion with variable acceleration. What is uniform velocity? Bags moving on a conveyor belt move at a uniform rate. Here, the bags are considered as particles. Therefore, if the particle moves with a constant velocity throughout the motion, then the particle is said to have a uniform velocity motion. When the particle is performing a uniform velocity motion, that is, its velocity is uniform throughout the period of time, then its acceleration is zero. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Now, what is uniform acceleration? Let us take an example of a man jumping from an airplane. His acceleration is zero before the jump. As he jumps, his acceleration increases at a uniform rate. But he will have uniform acceleration motion only if his velocity increases simultaneously at a uniform rate. So, if the velocity of a particle is increasing at a uniform rate, then its acceleration will be constant throughout the period of time. These are the equations of our uniform acceleration motion. Variable acceleration is usually defined as a function of time or velocity or position. Suppose, if the car covers a particular distance in which its velocity keeps on changing, irrespective of time, then the car is said to have a variable acceleration motion which means the car's acceleration is increasing with respect to time. These are the equations for variable acceleration. Let us consider different type of problem based on uniform acceleration motion and variable acceleration motion. In uniform acceleration motion, we will first write all the initial conditions of the particle and we'll use uniform acceleration equation to find the unknown. In variable acceleration motion, the acceleration of a particle is given as an equation. We will take derivative of that equation and solve as for mathematical rules. Let us consider a problem and understand rectilinear motion in a better way. Suppose car P and Q are traveling in parallel lanes on a straight highway with a uniform velocity of 60 km per hour. Car P is ahead of car Q by 250 meters. At a certain instant, car P decelerates uniformly at 2.5 meter per second square, whereas car Q accelerates uniformly at 2 meter per second square. When and where will car Q overtake car P? Let car P travel x meters and so car Q travels x plus 250 meters as car Q will overtake car P. Initial velocity of car P and Q is 60 km per hour. On evaluating, we get 16.67 meter per second. Consider motion of car P. 
write whatever is given for car P. As the motion shows uniform acceleration using equation for uniform acceleration. On substituting the respective values, we get equation 1. Similarly, write all the conditions for car Q. On using an equation for uniform acceleration and substituting the values, we get equation 2. On solving equation 1 and 2, we get value of time. On substituting value of time in either of the equations, we get the point at which car Q will overtake car P. Let us solve problems on variable acceleration. The acceleration of a car performing rectilinear motion is given by negative 0.06 v square. Knowing that v equals 25 meter per second at x equals 0, find the position of the particle at v equals 15 meter per second and the particle's acceleration at x equals 40 meters. As for the given data, acceleration is a function of velocity writing the given equation for acceleration. To find the position of a particle, we will use the equation for variable acceleration. On substituting the values, we get the following equation. We have been given that at x equals 0, v equals 25 meter per second. Now integrating and taking the lower limits. On evaluating the integration, we get the following equation. On further evaluation, we get equation for x. On substituting v equals 15 meter per second in equation 2, we get the position of particle at v equals 15 meter per second. Now we will find the acceleration of particle at x equals 40 meters. Substituting x equals 40 meters in equation 2, we get the velocity of the particle. And on substituting the value of velocity of particle in equation 1, we get the acceleration of the particle. Negative sign indicates that the particle decelerates. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Motion under gravity is a special case of uniform acceleration motion. Any object thrown in the air has to come down due to the effect of gravity. Like this ball, when thrown up, has to come down due to the gravitational effect. And when an apple falls from a tree, its action is also due to gravity. Consider the given note while solving problems on motion under gravity. Motion under gravity is better understood while analyzing the particle in a practical situation. Consider a stone is projected vertically upwards into the air at 40 meter per second. After 3 seconds, another stone is projected vertically upwards and it crosses the first stone at 50 meter from the ground. What is the velocity of projection of the second stone? Consider motion of stone 1 and write initial conditions of stone 1. As it's performing uniform acceleration using equation for uniform acceleration. On substituting we get a quadratic equation. On solving quadratic equation we get two values of time out of which one is valid. Since another stone is projected after three seconds, time t1 is valid. Similarly, write the initial condition for stone 2. On evaluating, we get the velocity of projection of the second stone. Now let us analyze the motion of a droplet. Water drops drip from a leaking tap at a rate of five drops per second. At an instant, what is the vertical separation between two consecutive drops if the lower of the two drops has a velocity of 4.5 meter per second. At the instant shown, let the first drop be A and the second drop be B. Since five drops are released in one second, each drop comes out of the tap after every 0.2 seconds. At the given instant, if drop A is in motion for T1 second, drop B is in motion for T1 minus 0.2 seconds. Considering the motion of drop A, writing down the initial condition for drop A. As the droplets from the water tap are coming out at a uniform rate, using an equation for uniform acceleration motion, on substituting the values, we get time T1. Now, on substituting the value of T1 in equation for uniform acceleration motion, we get the vertical height SA. Considering the motion of drop B, writing down the initial condition for drop B, 
on using equation for uniform acceleration motion and substituting the values, we get the vertical height SB. So, the vertical separation between drop A and B is 0 0.7033 meters. Let us take a quick review of what we've seen in this Easy Ed video lecture. First, we learned what kinematics of particle is by taking an example of a man analyzing the speed of the car. So kinematics is the analysis of moving particles without considering forces responsible for the motion. Next is basic terminologies. Here, the car is attaining different positions which defines the position of the car. Displacement is only concerned with the initial and final position of the car. Distance is the actual distance traveled by the car. Velocity is how fast a car can travel. And acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Rectilinear motion is understood with the help of an example of a car traveling on a straight highway and also we have seen three types of rectilinear motions. Motion with uniform velocity, motion with uniform acceleration and motion with variable acceleration. In uniform velocity we have taken example of bags traveling on a conveyor belt that is bags are moving with constant velocity. In uniform acceleration we have seen how velocity of a man is increasing uniformly when he jumps from an airplane that is its acceleration is constant throughout the jump and in variable acceleration the velocity of the car is not uniform with respect to time. After that we have learned steps to solve a problem based on uniform acceleration motion and variable acceleration motion. Finally the special case of rectilinear motion that is motion under gravity where any object thrown upwards has to come down due to the effect of gravity. Note has to be considered while solving problem on motion under gravity. So this is the overview of this video.